Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. That is amazing. So he's actually moving. Yeah. Remember to hit that subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting musicians, singers, and dancers, and making them come alive on the canvas. With me today is Conroy Green from Jamaica. Hello, Conroy. Hello, Miss James. Thank you so very much for having me. And thank you so much for joining me on Art Snack today. I appreciate it. So Conroy, tell me a bit about your past and how you got started as an artist. Well, for, I'm a self-taught artist, so as you know, that's just my natural talent to be okay. creative. That's my God-given talent. But I wasn't always an artist. I, I wasn't painting from, from my childhood or anything of that sort. Mm -hmm. But I used to sketch. Okay. You know, I always, I always like being creative with whatever it is that I do. Yes. But me becoming an artist today, um, I got inspired by my people, my identity as okay. an African, as a Jamaican to, to, to search myself, yes. to see how best I can be valuable to my community, right. not having a job at my adolescent years or going to school. I had to do something with my life. So Okay. I started just experimenting with art okay. and I fell in love with it. Yes, yes. Wonderful. So that's really how I became an artist. And so how many years have you been painting? I have been experimenting with painting for about four years thereabout. Okay. But for the for the past two years, I've been a full time artist. Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm so happy. You Thank you. Have that opportunity. I'm a self taught artist too, so, and so I know how the journey goes and the experimentation. So I know how. Wonderful. That goes. <laughs> okay, and what medium do you enjoy using? What medium do you like to paint with? I actually paint with acrylic and oil, but yes. my favorite is oil. Okay. Because oil takes a bit longer to dry. Yes. So I have more time to work with the colors and to blend and stuff like that. But yes. I like both mediums. Okay. Okay. Yes. So I, I realize, yes, with the oil, you have the opportunity to blend more while it requires. Acrylic is dry. <laughs> it's dry so quickly that you have to wow. get it right the first time. <laughs> And with oil, with oil painting, I, it kind of gives me a feeling of a more professional approach. Oh, you know? Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. So can we see some samples of your work? I'm going to pull up a few that you sent me and we can talk about them. Um, Roy, please tell me a bit about this painting. This painting titled Rural Delights is a beautiful representation of the rural area in Jamaica. So okay. the rural area in Jamaica is known to be underdeveloped, but very much high in density with fruit trees and beautiful lush vegetation. So in this painting, you can see a woman venturing on a path with 
a crocus bag on her head, a keg in her hand, and a bunch of bananas. Okay. So this painting was actually inspired by one of my friends from the rural area. Yeah. She's always working. So it's an exciting thing for our mothers to go to the market and to come home on weekends. So I wanted to pay homage to that of the Jamaican woman. Yes, being very industrious. So this is rural delights. Rural delights. The rural area have to offer the beautiful tree, the beautiful fruit trees, yes. the lush vegetation, and the beautiful people, the beautiful and hardworking people. Yes, I like how you've captured the um, vegetation here. Lots of detail. Good job. Thank you very much. Tell me about this painting. Nice. So I'm an artist that likes to paint the human body, especially African folks, as I'm an African and I love my people. I love who I am. So this, is, this piece is titled Emancipated Love, okay. Being Free to Love. Being free to love each other as black folks. So in this painting, you can see a man, a man and a woman embracing each other. As you can see, their hands very delicately embracing each other, but with passion. Yes. Embracing each other and loving their melanated skin. So I wanted to pay homage to that of our people. Excellent, Emancipated Love. Now, yes. what about this painting? Oh, nice. This painting here is Rural Industry, another piece about the rural area. So this is oil on canvas, size 12 inches by 16. Okay. This was done in the year 2021. Yes. In the rural parts of Jamaica, you can always find an old man walking with his donkey. Okay. Yes. Donkeys are known to be very industrious animals. And these elder folks seemingly are never tired. They're always working. So in this piece, as you can see, this is somewhat of a hill as you can see a cliff beside the donkey the old man is coming from bush you can see the lush vegetation behind yes, him yes he lots of detail vegetation here yes he has a whip in his hand to keep his donkey here his friend going and a machete which he used to chop his bush and a little bag in his hand taking something for his beautiful wife so okay. this is rural industry Rural industry, beautiful. I yes. like how you captured the um the forest and all the trees there. Lots of detail. Good job. Thank you. This painting now, beautiful nice. colors, nice line. This green. is my little garden friend. So this painting is titled "Little Flyer." In Jamaica, our national bird is the hummingbird. Okay. But there are many species of hummingbird. This one is not necessarily our national bird, but the hummingbird is our national bird. Okay. So the doctor bird has a much longer and fancier tail than this one. But this one can be seen mostly. And I'm always seeing them in my yard and I always admire them, how agile they are and how free they are. So I wanted to capture this piece with a beautiful background, still representing the, the colors of our flag okay. here in Jamaica. So you have the green. Caught the green, in yeah. mid air. Yes, I like how you've captured the detail of the beak and his uh, head and the eyes. So lots Thank of detail you. there makes it quite realistic. Very yes, well and done. and this was done with oil. Oh, oil and canvas. Yes. Beautiful work. Thank you. Ah. Nice. Man, and I'm a Leo, so I like to see 
portraits of lions. Right. So this painting here, oil on canvas, 12 by 16 inches, titled Royal Couple. So in Jamaica, people would always compare themselves to lions and lionesses. Okay. I myself do it as well. So I wanted to represent the pride of their union and where they're mostly from. So this area, the, the, the background is that of Tanzania oh. and we are African. So this is our homeland. So we should be very proud. So this is what this piece actually represents, royal couple. This is our natural habitat, our natural ways to be royal. So this is what this piece represents. A very beautiful and colorful one. Yes, yeah, powerful piece. And I like the details um, on the lion's mane in particular. Well nice. done. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us today. Please uh, tell the viewers what projects you have coming up. I have a few projects coming up, but one that is soon, in a, in a couple of days, is that of a Nanny of the Maroons project. So okay. artists were charged to make three designs of Nanny of the Maroons. So Nanny of the Maroons is a Jamaican, she's the only heroine, only national hero that is a woman here in Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. So we had to make three designs to retell who she might have been yes. as a youth. So I did three designs of her. Hopefully my design wins. Okay. So let me pull up one of the designs that you shared with me today. Nice. Conroy, tell me about this image of Nanny of the Maroons. Yes. So this painting here is one of three designs that I made to represent Nanny of the Maroons. So we were charged to retell her story and to reimagine her as a youthful person rather than someone who is an elder and not so attractive because oh, yeah. most of the images that we see of her is not so welcoming and she's an elder woman. Yes. So here, a beautiful woman can be seen, a fierce woman can be seen standing before a fire yes. under a tree okay. during the night time. So Nanny of the Maroons is known to be a very fearsome woman as she led many victorious battles against the British. Okay. So we were tasked to reimagine her as this individual that was very militant. And what is the, the significance of this tree? The tree? Yes. Yes. So the tree is no, this tree here in this piece is the kinder tree. Oh. So the kinder, the kinder tree is very special to the Maroons. You can find this tree in the Akongpong town. Okay. In Jamaica. So here Nanny would chant and she would summon the spirits of her ancestors. Yes. So this piece is titled Night Before the Rebellion. You know, Nanny is an Ashanti woman and the Ashanti people are spiritual practitioners. So yes. in this piece, you can, you, you can see her practicing her spirituality before battle. Okay, excellent. Yes. Well, I wish you good luck and I hope your design is accepted as a beautiful, powerful piece. Thank you very much. Well, that's all we have time for today. Please tell the viewers where they can find more of your work online. Okay, so I post most of my work on Instagram and Facebook. Yes. My Instagram handle is Conroy underscore green. That is C-O-N-R-O-Y 
underscore G R E E N. So that's Conroy underscore green. Yes. And for Facebook, it's Conroy Green. C O N R O Y G R E E N. Very good. So I'll put your Instagram and Facebook handle here on the screen. Viewers can also see my work at jennylynnjames.pixels.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. So thank you again, Conroy. Thank you so very much, Miss James, for having me. Okay. Bye, everybody. Take care. Remember to hit that subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Hope to see you every day. Hit the subscribe button.